Hi everyone, it's Lindsay from Breshna. Today we're going to go over one of my favorites. It's called Cross Boss and it is a very simple way for you to create your very own crossword puzzle at whatever topic you want. We're going to come down. We have 17 different templates that you can choose from. I'm going to go with Cross Boss today and just hit create. This brings us into the actual editor. So first we're going to talk about how we can customize this. Coming over into the avatar, that's gonna be this little guy right here, we can change him to look whatever we want. First we've got our human um, category and if you find that you are not uh, represented here, you can always come up, upload your own avatar. So you would click right here and then follow these instructions add whatever avatar you want to add and then you would come over here and you can choose if it's pr public or private if you want to be the only one that can use this then you would select private if you want other people to be able to use this you would choose public and this is really good if you're a business and you kind of want logos or marketing you can really get into allowing other people to make games with your logos if you are public please 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 add tags this is how people are going to search so obviously I'm not uploading a file we're just going to click out of that I'm going to come back to the avatar thing my favorite are the animals I think they are so freaking cute and today I am going to choose this adorable little seal now I'm gonna go to do the background and I'm gonna show you what I mean by searching for tags. So I want this to go into a school. My little, my little seal is gonna go into a school. So that's what I'm gonna type in is school. And we can see there's a bunch of things that have popped up that are school related. So I'm gonna choose this one. This looks the most like a classroom to me. And then we can come over here into the music. You can choose to have no music at all, totally fine. Or you can choose to test each one of these uh, songs. And on your own, you can choose if you want to add them or not. I'm gonna stick with no music right now. If you are a musician or you just want your own custom music, you can do exactly the same. Just follow the instructions, do exactly what I mentioned before, and you would hit upload. Now let's get into adjusting the levels. So first and foremost, you can add as many levels as you want. If I wanna add a level, pretty simple, click add level. Then you can use select a level, toggle, and go between whichever level you wanna use. One of the cool things is you can actually change avatar and background per level. So if you wanted that to change in each level, I could actually flip back and you see that this is the same. So for our crossword, you're gonna have to type in different words that you want to be the actual answers and the description or hint that people are going to use to, to get to that word. You need to make sure that each of these words has at least one similar letter. So I'm gonna go through, this one's all about arithmetic, I'm gonna go through and actually put my words down first. So I'm gonna say four for the first one, and then let's do five for the second one. So now we've got F's that could relate. Our third one, let's see, we've got an E and an I, so let's do nine. And then I think I'd like to add one word because we've got the N and the E here. So I'm gonna make this one. And then I'm gonna come all the way back up and then let's do description. So again, this is arithmetic, this particular game. So I'm gonna do two plus two equals question mark. And of course the answer is four. Now five, let's say um, two plus three, eh, that's a little too easy. Why don't we do seven minus two equals question mark? And that will equal five. Going to nine, let's make this just a tiny bit harder. We'll do 18 minus nine equals question mark. And then one, um, let's see, we'll go uh, nine minus eight equals question mark. So you can continue to add words 
as many as you want, just so long as at least one letter relates to the other words. And oops, I made this for level two. I don't wanna go back and make a level one, so we're actually just gonna delete a level by clicking delete level, coming over here, make sure you don't delete the level that you want, delete the one you don't want, <laughs> and there. Now I've just got my level one. So now I'm gonna flip over to game info. You're gonna name your game first. So I'm gonna call this um, solve for squares. And now here is where I'm going to put insert tags for people to actually find my game. So I'm gonna put math, arithmetic, um, let's say algebra. Um, I think that's probably good. We do have an explore page on the front page so you can go through these different categories and find things that you want to play. I'm going to put this under education since it's math. You can collect a player email so if you're a teacher or if you're marketing or whatever you want to catch, capture leads, you want to make sure certain students are playing the game, you can collect the player email and find that. Down here you're going to describe the actual game. So here I'm going to say use basic arithmetic to solve each problem and fill in the crossword beautiful oh crossword is one now i'm going to come down this is fairly easy i'm going to leave my difficulty level on easy and then a very cool thing about brushna is you can do this in any language you want so right to left text if you want to leave it left to right that's fine but things like arabic hebrew persian you know they're written right to left so now that we've gotten everything done you can save it and have it go into a draft you can preview it so that you can make sure that there's no uh, errors or you can just go straight to publish. I'm going to go straight to publish right now and you'll see this pop up. So you've been successfully published. You're going to come down here. You can play it or copy the URL. If you want to share this, you can literally just copy URL, send it. Anybody can click that URL and play your game. They do not have to sign up for a Brushna account. You can also embed the code directly into your website. So you would literally copy this, stick it in your website, and boom, you don't have to leave to go to the Brushna platform to play the game. It will stay in your website. Finally, of course, we would hit play. So let's check this out and see how things have gone. And we have solve for squares. So I'm gonna hit play, and you guys will see how awesome my crossword puzzle looks. So now we've popped up, right? And our word description is right up here. What is nine minus eight? So if I don't know this, I can go, oh gosh, next word. What's the next word? What's the next word, right? If I want, let's go back to number one. I can also just click this right here and choose the different words. Let's start from number one. Obviously we know nine minus eight is one. So we're gonna go O and E one. If you get this wrong, so we're here right now, let's see, I put a C in, you can see it does not, it's, it pops up red. And that's it. You've made your first crossword game and you're ready to go and use this in whatever topic, in whatever direction that you want to use it.